What is up guys, my name is Brandon Robles and today I will be showing you my best sales of the week, part two of this series. We've got a lot of great sales, so stay here and let's just jump right into it. So let's get to it. My first sale that I will be talking about is a combined order that I actually got last Sunday as I recorded before and I didn't get to show this in the last video. So this is a five order combined order to one person and it was a bunch of Folio Society, two or three of them were book sets and they sold for quite a bit. It was a $190 order to one person plus shipping. Um, and they were great stuff. Folio Society is a British publisher. So obviously the worth will be a little more here as it's a little harder to get them here as you have to import them, right? So that is very cool. So this person was obviously a collector. They offered, hey, look, I'm willing to buy all these. Will you take some offers? I can't shoot that down, $190 off the bat. So really happy with that one. So the next two sales I'll be talking about is two separate orders for two separate people. Um, they're Franklin Library. If you're not familiar with them, they're a leather bound book that is more common than you think that you will find. Um, it's a US publisher. So you're gonna find quite a bit of them. They're great for decoration. A lot of people love the colors that they come out with. Again, it's like a leather, I don't know if it's a leatherette exactly what, but it is a collector's edition book. They have a lot of the classic stories um, and they just reprint them in a really pretty book. So one of them I sold for $75 and the other I sold for $24. Um, pretty cool. These things fly off the shelf based off of how many I listed, but the $75 one was a limited edition. I think, I don't know exactly why it was limited edition, but um, the other ones I usually sell in the range of 15 to 30, more like 25-ish. But this one was a rare one, so $75 for just one book, great sale. So the next sale I will be talking about is another combined order. It was four orders in total to one person. And there was some really interesting stuff in here. So there was a lot of three Calvin and Hobbes, I don't know, I hope I pronounced that right. Um, so like a cartoon kind of thing, right? Um, for the books, and it was just a lot of three. I think it sold for 15 bucks. It went out quickly. I just listed them, happy with it. That's what you can do with these things. They weren't exactly worth individually, but lotting them up like that, they flew out. So I knew they had a good demand based off of Amazon sales ranks and stuff. The other interesting one was an automotive book. If you guys do not know, vintage automotive books are great. Whether it's about an engine specifically, or it's a car or a car part or something like that, those things go for great money consistently. I think this one ended up selling for like $10, $12, or something like that. Nothing crazy, but I knew as soon as I saw it, I'm like, yup, I'm listing this. So be on the lookout for these kind of books. Those are always consistent sellers. Um, so that's a pretty cool one. So for that combined order, it was $53 in total, going to one person, one box, very easy to ship out, and I'm happy with more space. So for the next sale, this is another textbook that I sold, similar to the one last week. It's the NFPA, um, sold for $30. As you can see in the picture, it's actually a little beat up, but people that are taking these courses, they need books, it's a good deal. Everything besides the outside is amazing. No highlighting writing. It's pretty much brand new inside. It's just a little weird on the outside. So this person sent me an offer, I think for $30. I think I had for like 38 or whatever, 30 bucks, that's going out. So this next sale is actually kind of interesting. It is a Hallmark Frosty the Snowman recordable storybook. It was sealed brand new. All it took was a matter of scanning the barcode, knowing what it was selling for, and boom. I had it listed for 55. Had a sale running, sold it for 41. Pretty cool for just a little kid's book. So the next sale was another NFPA textbook. It was later edition 2017 versus the 2014. Um, I ended up selling it for $33. I don't think I took an offer on that one. I think it was just a sale running, but pretty cool. These things are consistent sellers as you've seen in my last video and this one. These are selling all the time and I honestly hope I find more because they are pretty good sellers. So this next book is just one of those books that I took a bet on, listed it, and was betting that it would sell. So this book had no listings, no sold comps, but it had a brand new CD that came with it and the book was in amazing condition. It was a law book. So I decided I would list it for $35 or whatever, no sold, no listings, and boom, it sold for $26. It was part of a lot that I ended up getting, but it was a bigger book. But again, there was no reason why I should list it and sure enough, it sold. At first, 
I used to sell on Amazon. And so when I came to eBay, I was thinking with an Amazon mentality, seeing that there's no listing, there's no sold. Oh, it must be worthless. In fact, it's not. It actually could be more worth something because there's nothing out there that people can buy, right? There's literally no supply for demand. Um, and based off of Amazon, you see sales rank and it's a high sales rank. Oh, it's not good. But this one was great. And so my point is, just because you don't see something listed or sold does not mean that it doesn't have any value. In fact, it could have more value depending on the kind of book. So this next sale is actually a cookbook. I mentioned in my first sales of the week video that I love cookbooks. Well, this is why. This is literally a little pamphlet that I sold for $24. It had the cover. I listed another one without a cover and sold that one for like 10 bucks or whatever, but this one sold for 24. It's this thin um, and it's extremely small. And the fact that it sold for $24 just for some paper that had recipes in it, it's crazy. So I do love my cookbook. So these next two sales are actually some video games that picked up on an RA haul that I did. It was a bunch of clearance video games and I was I sold two of them, I believe both for $18.99. I picked them up for $11 each. After fees, I'll probably make five or $6. That's right around the 50% ROI that I'm looking for. Um, but they're selling quick and that's why I thought it was good to show is because just because there were smaller profits, knowing on Amazon with the sales rank that they'll be selling quickly, that's why I love these sales all day. These next two orders were also on Amazon FBM. Um, these were two books. One book I sold for $50 for a cookbook. Remember that guys, I just talked about another cookbook that was vintage. Well, this is a new one, absolute brand new in the shrink wrap. Um, this was for $50 for one cookbook. And so that's why I say I love them. The second one was a book that I sold for $45 from home. Once again, great profit because there's no fees from FBA. And that's why I love selling on Amazon and eBay, both of them from home, depending on the sales rank. I love that. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed my best sales of the week. Number two, I'm going to be pumping out these videos on a weekly basis and add it to the series so you guys can see exactly what sells. I'm going to drop tips on each sale, maybe explain why I decided to list it and go from there. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below with any questions you may have or DM me at the Brandon Robles. Stay hustling, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this lane, there's no stop in this flame. Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play. How I like rearranged it to my own domain. Yeah, I got what it takes.